Hello everyone, and welcome back to Clean 8-Bit. Today, we're unboxing the Thermalright Aqua Elite 240 V3 AIO cooler. This is a 240 millimeter liquid cooler, and I'm excited to see what's inside and how it looks. Let's dive right in. Now right off the bat, we got the box itself. It's covered in this plastic wrap, and I can tell you one thing about it, it's freaking heavy. Now I bought this cooler off Amazon, and as of the recording of this video, they have it for $44.90. It has a 4.56 star rating out of 305 ratings as of now. And the reason I bought it is because I was bored and I just didn't have anything else to spend my money on. So I'm like, why not? Just order an AIO cooler. Well, as soon as you open the box, you're welcome with the instructions, installation instructions and a manual, which we're gonna put aside. Then there's this white box comes with everything you're gonna need for different sockets. We're probably not gonna get to use all of them, but it is nice that they included them in case you do need them. This AIO is advertised to support uh, the following sockets. So for AMD is uh, AM4 and AM5, and for Intel is for LGA 1150, 1151, the 1200, 2011, and 1700. Now to the AIO itself, it comes wrapped in this plastic, and you can see right off the bat that the hoses have these brackets. It kind of keeps them organized together. The pump has this plastic cover on it and uh, I believe it does light up with ARGB. So you can add some colors in it. And here are the fans, which are two 120 millimeter fans. And these are like those cheap fans from Thermalrite that uh, I review in the past. Uh, if you haven't seen that video, I'm gonna put a link somewhere right now. So you can click on that and you watch that video of me unboxing those fans. But uh, it is good to know that if you have to replace those fans in the future uh, for any reason that they are actually available and for very cheap. We have the Thermal Right logo on both sides of the radiator. The pump itself, it has a copper plate and it's pretty big so it will be able to cover a lot of big CPUs if you have to. Of course, let's not forget to remove this plastic cover which I'll remove right now. I mean, the quality of the AIO just feels pretty solid and I just cannot believe that they can afford to sell this for $44 with 90 cents as of the recording of this video. Once again, I'm gonna put the link in the description down below if you wanna purchase one yourself. This is even cheaper than some air AIO coolers that I've owned on the past. The clips that hold the hoses together are removable, so you can take those off if you prefer. That way you can orient the pump in any position you would like. On the pump itself, like I said, it has this plastic cover that lights up uh, with ARGB. That's why the pump has two cables, one to power the ARGB on the pump, and the other is to power the pump itself. And then obviously the fans also have two cables each, one for the ARGB light, and the other for, the, for powering the fan, which will go onto your fan header in your motherboard. Now going back to this accessories included in this white box, here you will find a ton of little things, screws, brackets. Uh, I also appreciate the fact that they included some thermal paste. That is a big plus. I mean, how can they even afford to put thermal paste for $44.90, right? Now they have also included this splitter. In case you only have one header available on your motherboard, you connect this to your motherboard, then both of the fans will plug into the splitter and you can control the speed of both of them. Uh, from only one header on your motherboard. And I love how each bag is labeled. So it tells you for what socket it is. Like this one here is for the AMD and the other one would tell you it's for the Intel. Uh, and it, the, the spacers are actually color coded. So some are red for AMD and then the blue ones for team blue uh, Intel. That is pretty neat. Now this is a single bracket that goes behind the pump and you can use that for all of the different sockets, which is great. That way they save on metal. Here are the AMD AM4 and AM5 instructions. So you have a step-by-step -step guide. We are not gonna go over the installation in this video, but if you are interested in that, please don't forget to subscribe as I am going to be doing an installation guide. I'm also going to be doing a comparison of how this AIO perform and stacks against some of the best air coolers and some stock coolers that come with CPUs. So if you want to know that, don't forget to 
hit that subscribe button and to like this video too because it's free and why not but yes this manual that comes in the box is very helpful it has a lot of information about how to connect your water block and how to connect your fans etc etc it has a lot of uh, good useful information included here so if you buy this AIO today you will not have a problem installing it in your computer but just make sure that your computer is compatible that whatever CPU and socket you have that it is supported and if you do have any questions about this product just don't forget to leave them down in the comment section below thank you very much for watching hopefully this was helpful and if you are planning to buy this AIO now you know what you're gonna get in the box so far I would say that I I am impressed by everything that comes in the box and I would recommend you to purchase it nothing but good things to say about this AIO especially at the price have I said the price it's 44 dollars with 90 cents god damn it that's super cheap anyways thank you and don't forget to clean 8-bit